required. <laughs> Folks, the International Society for Tech and Education, the convention's in Denver, and there's all kinds of gadgets and gizmos, including the robotic cat that yes. actually is intended for our seniors or for folks who can't care for a real cat. Yes. Is that right, buddy? Yes, exactly. I dig it. So we're thrilled Very to have cool. Henry here. Mm -hmm. Elephant Robotics, you made this? Yes, we made it. Okay. That's so cool. Thank you. Here's my question. Yep. The cat. Uh, now, you might think it's just a toy you get at the at the mall. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. a toy. There no. are sensors that are intended to interact with the person, right? Exactly. Yep. So what kinds of sensors? Okay, so uh, in, in, in the head and the jaw and the back of the car, uh, of the cat, we have a touching sensor. Okay. They're able to feel the human touch. Uh, when you touch different spot and different times, it reacts differently. And especially we have designed that if you hold a cat in your oh. chest oh, like wow. that for okay. long enough, yeah. uh, then you will even feel the heartbeat of the cat. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, it's yeah. so sweet. And so as Chris mentioned, it's yep. intended for maybe elderly people who don't want to care for like an actual cat. Yes. This is kind of companionship for yes, them. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I notice the eyeballs kind of mm -hmm. glow too. What's up with the eyeballs? Uh, this is ex exactly a two uh, uh, very very small LED screen inside, but we have uh, designed some very mimical uh, cartoon inside. So wow. it, it's kind of difficult to tell if it's a fake eye. So you can even feel the oh. eyes breathing. Okay, so what yeah. is, um, you also have some other gadgets, the yeah. Myco Bot, is that how you sign? Okay, yeah. explain to us what that, that is. <laughs> okay, so uh, Elephant is a robotic company. Uh, mm -hmm. When we found that we have a vision called Enjoy Robots World, because oh. uh, even today, we a lot of people are getting familiar with robots, but right. most robots are still staying in factory, doing manufacturing. It's kind of far away from uh, uh, every individual's daily life. Right. And we have an idea, say, okay, how can we allow more people to uh, get the benefits from we'll robots? And wow. first, to take a biscuit right out of the microwave. Yeah, and okay. the first thing that come to the, my, my, our minds is that uh, for a lot of students in robotic major, what they do is that the school have to buy a second-hand or third-hand industrial robot. It's huge. And right. each student only got five minutes uh, with them every day. Right. And, and we said, uh, if, what if we can come out a, a robotic arm that you can put in a pet backpack that uh, weighs only you know, two it's to cool. three pounds? Yeah. It's mobile. It's, it's just small. mobile. Right. Yeah. I would and, love something that helped me cook. And we call uh, this a desktop level. Do you have, I don't mean to freak anybody out, but do you have a humanoid robot? We have a humanoid robot wow. based on that right now. Okay. Yeah. We've just published our first humanoid called Mercury. That's him right there, okay. Mercury? That, that's the Mercury robot. Yeah. Oh, he looks so friendly. It does. It's so nice. Oh, and it can brew <laughs> it coffee It makes coffee. For you. I'm all in. We need brew a channel coffee. to Mercury. <laughs> I have to ask you before you go, mm -hmm. uh, and I want your honest opinion. I know you're a robot guy. Yep. Are robots going to take over the world and kill all of us? <laughs> I don't think so. All right, thank you. You heard it here first. He's like, I sure hope not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure that didn't happen. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Famous I'm so words. impressed. That, you know, this is an idea of where they can actually help humans, mm -hmm. and I salute you for it. Exactly. Great work.